R slash ask credit. What is the funniest lie to tell kids? When we were in the car, and it was raining, my mom would wait for a bridge or tunnel, and as we approached it, she would tell us she was going to make the rain stop in 3.2.1. She told us she could only make the rain stop for a minute, because it made her so tired. My siblings and I were convinced she was magic. My dad made the traffic lights turn green. I asked why he waited a few minutes before using his power. And he said it's important to let others have a turn and go ahead of you. GG magician. My friend's parents told her that moose weren't real growing up. Like unicorns. And moose were both fictional creatures. When she got to high school someone was talking about seeing a moose and she thought they were trying to be funny and basically she found out at 16 that moose are, in fact, real. When she went home to tell her parents her mom was in tears of laughter. So yeah. Probably telling your kid growing up that her very existent animal is a fictional creature. My friend did not believe red pandas were real until I took photos of them at our local zoo. Despite photos also being readily available online. She said they were photoshopped raccoons. A new fantasy creature known as the video game raccoon. I convinced my kids I was a GD. I waved my right hand to turn up the volume on my car, while secretly using my left hand to turn up the volume with the steering wheel controls. I did the same thing with the electronic controls for my seat. When they challenged me to do something else. I replied that I had already done too much, because a GD should never use the force for trivial things. Can you use the force to make traffic lights turn green, while definitely not watching the cross streets light out of the corner of your eye? Oh. Good suggestion. Me. How old are you? Now. Kid. 6. Me. Wow. When I was your age I was only 9. It's great to see the very puzzled look on their faces. Reminded me of a Shel Silverstein poem. When I was your age. My uncle said. How do you get to school? I said. By bus. And my uncle smiled. When I was your age. My uncle said. I walked it barefoot 7 miles. My uncle said. How much weight can you tote? I said. One bag of grain. My uncle laughed. When I was your age. My uncle said. I could drive a wagon and lift a calf. My uncle said. How many fights have you had? I said. Two and both times I got whipped. When I was your age. My uncle said. I fought every day and was never licked. My uncle said. How old are you? I said. Nine and a half. And then, my uncle puffed out his chest and said, when I was your age, I was 10. I like this a lot, because the moral is your uncle is a ducking liar, which is universally true. That your ears turn purple when you lie. My best friend's mom told her this when we were little, and she covered her ears or took down her ponytail every time she lied until she was 8. R I remember discovering mirrors at 8 too. You lie to yourself in the mirror? When me and my brothers were kids and complained about something, my dad would go to the phone and say hello, complaint department, and describe our grievance. He said the complaint department for everybody was in Calgary and was run by someone called Chief Alakanoke, and he was getting tired of our complaints. I believed that for the longest time. But did Chief Alakanoke ever do anything to resolve your complaints? Much like the real chief. Probably not. My sister told me that yellow leaves tasted like bananas and brown tasted like chocolate. I apparently went and ate leaves. But came back and told her they don't taste how she said they would. She told me I must have eaten a bad batch. So I continued to try find and eat these tasty leaves. Too bad you couldn't find a star leaf. Those things looked amazing. Land before time. The grass spike ate when he hatched also looked pretty good. My wife and I have convinced our 6 year old that you can only go to Chuck E. Cheese if you're invited by someone else for a birthday party. I guess kind of like the Freemasons. So far, none of his friends have asked for a Chuck E. Cheese party. Edit, for those pointing out that you have to ask to be a Freemason not wait to get invited that's the joke point jpg I'm like. Comparing waiting to get asked versus asking. But wait. Then how do people start Chuck E. Cheese parties, if you can only go to the parties? 
they have to be invited to one, and then just stay after. The ice cream truck only plays music when it's out of ice cream. My neighbors told their kids it was the broccoli truck. Let's get this straight. Do you mean it isn't? Unplugs the joystick. You control the badge eyes. I remember my brother thinking he was smart by letting me be second player in duck hunt. Turns out the controller controls the ducks. And you can't hit them if they constantly flip left and right between two sprites. Mwahaha. <laughs> Yami and a friend were trading off on duck hunt. And his younger cousin showed up and asked for a turn. I told him that you can be the ducks and handed him the controller. I thought I was lying. But man did those ducks get hard to shoot. Had to try it for myself. My friend said he was once in the car with his family and they drove past an industrial plant. Smoke was blowing out of a chute. As they do at these plants. He asked his mom what it was and she told him it was the cloud factory and those were the clouds being released into the sky. He said he honestly thought clouds were man-made for a better portion of his life. I always thought it was some dude's job to wake up before everyone else. Strap on a jetpack and make the clouds himself. On days it was cloudless it was his day off. And that man was Albert Einstein. That if they don't eat their vegetables they won't be able to poop and they'll explode. That one's more of an exaggeration than an outright lie. I forget how it started. But my husband, boyfriend at the time, was trying to convince his 4 year old brother that his feet were going to fall off. The lie got more and more elaborate like explaining how he'd have to learn how to walk around on his ankles until his adult feet came in. Etc. He was skeptical. Even when I agreed that it was true. That everyone loses their baby feet before their adult feet grew in. At the time their house was being upgraded from dial up internet to DSL. And the phone tech was wandering in and out. He happened to come in towards the end. And said. Oh yeah. I remember when I lost my baby feet. Took a year for my new ones to come in. Little brother's face fell immediately because it must be true if the stranger was corroborating. He ran out of the room to tell his mom. Yelling. But I like my feet. And we all laughed. Even his mom when she found out. He's an adult now and my husband and I still razz him about it when we see him. Edit. Husband reminded me about the part where he yelled about liking his feet. Phone tech is a real MVP here. For real. It takes a special type of person to walk in. See this child's face and immediately play along. No information given. I told my 7 year old sister that if you lick your fingers and wipe it off in your ear you will have way better hearing. And when she did it, I talked a little louder and raised the volume on our TV when she wasn't looking. She did this every day till her teacher said that it wasn't true. TL. Doctor convinced my sister to wet willy herself for a week. I used to hold my feet up in the air and tell my sister to smell my socks because I stepped in candy. She fell for it way more times than I expected. Sometimes it would take some convincing as she was a little dubious from previous episodes. What did you do to convince her? My baby sister was 4 when I was 20. One day it was storming very hard. Very loud lightning. Sister was terrified, but eventually fell asleep. While she was napping I had to run out into the rain for a bit, and was absolutely soaked. Maybe 10 minutes later it stopped raining, and my sister woke up, and saw me, and asked why I was so wet. I said well, since you were so scared. I went and fought the storm. I won. And pointed outside. She ran to look. Saw it was clearing up, and the utter, or in her face, when she looked back at me. I was her hero for a day. Too cute. As a child. My parents told me if I did something bad I was going to baby jail. I believed in baby jail until I was like 12 years old. If I started crying in a public place my dad would say Mary. Stop that. You don't want to go to baby jail. Do you? And then I would just scream louder like I don't want to go to baby jail. I was kind of a well behaved kid until I realized baby jail wasn't real. Then I turned into a teenager and they told me that juvenile detention was a thing and I didn't believe them. Edit. I never went to juvie. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone. And that's why I stole that car. Your honor. 
that the human body is only allotted so many words a year. And if you talk too much now, you might not be able to talk for the rest of the year. Also, it has a limited amount of energy, and if you exercise, you are draining it. Like battery. Fuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
soda, and more games. All in the sunshine. Surrounded by their family. By a lakeside. Jeremy sounds like a legend. They have 11 fingers. Have them count the fingers on one hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. On the other hand count backwards from 10 on each finger. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. What is 5 plus 6? Watch them stare at their hands. Or, you count them as 1, 2, skip these 3, move on to the other hand. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Lastly the ones you skipped. 9, 10, 11. I had a pause at this. When I was little. I built a Lego remote control for the TV. My dad was like. Hey. See if it will change the channel. I kept hitting it. Nothing. All of a sudden. A few channels change. And I'm screaming and jumping up and down. Then it stopped working. My dad goes that was magic. Awesome Lego remote. Thanks. Dad. That's adorable. <laughs>